you all. business for us today. Yes, sir. We do. The Order of the Laurels would petition your majesties to admit another to the Order of the Laurel and the peerage of us here. Who is it that you bring up to us for consideration? And are there any of your order that would speak fine, to these candidates? You. Yes, your majesty. I am Dame Ellen Fraser, companion of the Order of the Laurel, and I am here to present to you my apprentice, her ladyship, the Honorable Elizabeth Fitzwilliam of Carlisle. Sorry. Among her, skills, among her many skills, Elizabeth has become a needlewoman of great renown, both in plain sewing and embroidery. She is known for her generosity in sewing for others, whether royal, noble, or common. Him, her embroidery is exquisite. She has filled the king's coffers with her largesse, items such as sewing kits, thread, waxes, molded cookies. All who tasted them eagerly seek after her lemon crack. <laughs> she possesses all the virtues of a peer of this realm. She has served the kingdom well in both great and small ways. To be a laurel, to be recognized as a laurel, is to not only demonstrate skill and artisanship and talent, but also to exhibit, exhibit extra research, to expand the body of knowledge. <laughs> Costuming is a path well tread in Ontario. To find one's own place on that path is truly remarkable. Elizabeth is not merely talented, brilliant, accomplished. Elizabeth is kind. She is generous and she is giving. And I am very proud to recommend her to you. To the order, it is your will, is it your will and desire for Elizabeth Fitzwilliam of Carlisle to be admitted into your order? Yes, yes, yes Your Majesty. Then let the candidate come forward. Let Elizabeth Fitzwilliam of Carla, member of the Order of the Goutte de Song, member of the Order of the Jean de Leon, recipient of many forget me nots and bountiful hands, creator of lemon crack, the constructor of the making of cookies, giver of the golden heart, wise lapper, person who should hurry as the herald makes stuff up. <laughs>
born to the pursuit of perfection, both in your arts and in your person, offering your expertise and teaching others for the betterment of our society. This is not a choice to be made lightly. Having reflected upon that which will be required of you, are you still willing to accept membership into this order? I am. <laughs> Who here would speak of her honor and largesse? I am Her Royal Highness. <laughs> I have been blessed with knowing this woman since my first reign, and I uh, soon it was very clear to me what a special person she was. Her generosity to those of the royalty as well as to anyone else within our kingdom is evident. Um, anyone's special day will be blessed with cookies. <laughs> um, many of the things that we are able to give out to uh, people have been touched by this woman. Many of the clothes that we wear have been touched by this woman also. Uh, and she does that with humility, um, doing it out of the kindness of her heart. And because of that, I would like to uh, recommend, sorry, <laughs> Elizabeth Fitzwilliams to your Majesty's. I bought that with her majesty. <laughs> <laughs> Who here would speak of her chivalry? Oh, your highness. <laughs> this woman is a superb example of chivalry. Not only because her lord fights with an alette, Oh. <laughs> but she fills the room with her chivalry. She fills the room with her kindness, and she fills the room with her wisdom as much as she has filled the kingdom with beauty in her art. She is a tremendous asset to this kingdom, and her chivalry is beyond question. Thank you. Who here would speak to her mastery? I would, Your Majesty. My name is Melissine Darjant, Mistress of the Laurel. When we speak of mastery, we can talk of many things. We can talk of not only knowing what it is to master an art form, but being willing to put forth the effort to do that mastery. To be willing to make those mistakes that it takes to ma truly master something and truly, truly become what it is to be a master. I have seen Elizabeth from the very beginning of her various arts. <coughs> and I have seen her work over and over again and not be afraid to have something fail because that is the way to work through that. Isabel and worthy words. Who now will speak of her service? I will, Your Majesty, by your leave. I am Master Rolf Nielsen, Order of the Pelican. <coughs> I have had the honor of having this woman as my protege these many years. And I tell you, this is well deserved. Who would speak of her courtesy? I would, Your Majesty. I am Master Sebastian DeCon of the Order of Defense. Courtesy is one of the keystones of our society. It is one of the basics of any peer. This woman has dealt with all manner of people over the years. She has treated them well and fairly. She has done a job as seneschal, one of the hardest is jobs to do, and she has behaved admirably in all respects to everyone she's dealt with. I highly recommend her for this aspect. Your Majesty. Thank you. 
Are you sworn of guilty today? I am. I am sworn to Dane Ellen Fraser. Would Dane Ellen Fraser come forward? Elizabeth, you have been a delight as an apprentice. You have more than fulfilled your contract. You have furthered your skills and service beyond expectations. And more, you have become my very dear friend. I return to you now your contract in that you may consider and you may consider your old bill. I release you from my service, but not my heart. Your Majesties, I give to you Elizabeth Fitzwilliam of Carlisle, a jewel in the crown of Ontario. Elizabeth Fitzwilliam of Carlisle, well pleased with your skill and your continued service to this our kingdom and right mindful of the desires of your peers. We are minded to create you a member of the Order of the Laurel. Will you accept from us this honor and swear to uphold the rights and responsibilities of the Order? Then will you, Elizabeth, give your word to continue to fulfill the requirements set forth for the government of this order, as you most surely have until now, to seek to increase your labors nobly, to nourish your talents as befits a noble, and to seek to disseminate your talents and abilities throughout the kingdoms of the known world, as far as is within your powers. Bring forth the medallion. Your Majesty. Is there a legacy? Well, yes. <laughs> I was never an apprentice. I had no legacy passed down to me. So I have had this medallion created with our names on the back. Mm -hmm. And you are charged that the first apprentice you have that is elevated, that you put their name on the back mm -hmm. and pass it to them. Mm -hmm. And there is also this one, which is yours, too, mm -hmm. that is as a gift from Robin. Mm -hmm. May this be the beginning of a legacy. Mm -hmm. Bring forth the circlet. There is no legacy with this. Mr. Shannon made it especially for Elizabeth for her elevation, mm -hmm. and she was unable to be here. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Again, may this be the beginning of a legacy mm -hmm. from ancient times. The laurel has signified exceptional <coughs> achievement. Let it remind you of the world. A tree that does not tower. A tree that does not tower. But a secure in its station. But a secure in its station. And gives life throughout its life. Where the circle? Where the circle is. A symbol of not the ability. Switch your own numbers. As much as our recognition. Your Majesties. The candidate has now been decked as a laurel. Does it please you to administer the accolade? Elizabeth, accept from our hand that which your devotion has brought you.
may your comportment ever serve as an example of gentle courtesy and humility. And may your spirit ever follow after the goals your heart has set before you. Let it be known that this day Elizabeth Fitzwilliam has been admitted to the right noble order of the Laurel and will be known as a peer of the Kingdom of Ontier. Would you now swear fealty to the Crown? I will. Upon which symbol of state would you swear fealty? I, I wish to swear upon the scepter. <laughs> 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 yes. So say we, Kjartan. So say we, Shea. Is there a scroll? <laughs> to all present and to come, who these letters shall see and hear, off Dolphison, otherwise called Black Lion Herald of Ontier, sends health to all humble commendations. Equity requires and reason ordains that men and women virtuous and of noble courage be rewarded for their merits by renown and may be in places of great honor perpetually shining before others by certain signs and shows of honor and gentility, that is to say of blazon, helmet, and crest, in order but by their example others may more endeavor perseveringly to spend their days in fruitful service and other virtuous works to attain renown of ancient gentility. And therefore, Kjartan King and Shea Queen of Ontier, who by common renown, as well as by the testimony and report of other noble men and women worthy of credence, are truly advised and informed that Elizabeth Fitzwilliam of Carlisle has long pursued feats of skill and virtuous deeds, and as well as this, as in her other affairs, has borne herself valiantly and conducted herself honorably have declared that she is deserved well and is well worthy that henceforth, perpetually and forever, she may be in all places honorably admitted, renowned, counted, numbered, and received among the number and
and in the company of the Order of the Laurel. Yes, there's more. <laughs> For the remembrance of this her gentility, I, Black Lion, above foresaid, certify that said Elizabeth Fitzwilliam bears the blazon helmet and crest in the manner which follows, that is to say, Azure, a pall inverted or between two hairs combat and argent, each maintaining a spear or, as in the margin of the present does appear to be used forevermore. In witness whereof, I, Black Lion Herald, have signed with my hand and sealed with the seal of my arms these present letters, made and given in the Shire of Hawksgarth, in the day of the Feast of St. Gregory the Great, in the year of our Society 51, and the first year of the reign of Kjartan and Shea, our most redoubted sovereigns, in testimony whereof we, Kjartan and Shea, above me, have set our hands and affixed our seals.